What's up, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, and this is Tech Teardown. Now, over the weekend, I've had some crazy things happen to me. My basement flooded. Uh, when I was making tubes on my new, on my water cooled system here, I just rebending some tubes during the leak test. One of them exploded uh, due to heavy head pressure. Before all of that, I also had issues with my 3900X. I was doing some memory overclocking, just trying to see if I can get it over to a stable 3600 megahertz. And I was testing it with Cinebench, seeing what type of gains I was getting with my memory overclocks. And I was noticing something really weird where my score was half of the Cinebench score that I normally get with my 3900X. And I kept running it and it was still around like 3,000, 3,600 points in Cinebench R20, which is definitely too low for a 3900X. Started paying attention more and looking in hardware info, uh, looking at what, what, what are my uh, core clocks running at, what's going on with my processor. And I was also noticing that there was a lot fewer squares being utilized when I was using Cinebench. And then in hardware info, I finally noticed that I was only utilizing six cores. Somehow, an entire CCX on my Ryzen 3900X got disabled. I did not mess with anything in the BIOS. I checked Ryzen Master. I decided just messing around with some Windows settings and I did find a fix for you. I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what exactly I'm, I was experiencing over the weekend with my 3900X, show you what it was looking like, and then I'm gonna show you how I fixed it. Before I do that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell if you wanna see more videos from us. We're gonna be doing tutorials and uh, PC building, all different types of tech content. So if you wanna see more from us, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, all that stuff. But let's go ahead and move on to today's content. All right, people, I am in Cinebench R20, and we have, see the 3900X, says it's a 12 core processor, but only have six cores and 12 threads at 3.8 gigahertz are showing right here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, it. Looks like it might be taking a little bit longer. Could be that I'm running OBS here in the background. All right, so, as you can see, there's only really 12 boxes running at one time here. Uh, so it does have 12 threads at least. So it's just an entire CCX on this 3900X that basically got disabled. And I, I can't say for sure that it is a Windows update problem that's causing this issue for me. I've, I've had a hard time trying to find anyone else having the same issue that I'm having. Uh, if you're, but I wanted to put this out here just in case someone like me who ha didn't notice it until they were testing something like this. Uh, but definitely if you did download the windows update, check to see if you're having this issue. Let me know down in the comments. Maybe it's, uh, one of the games or other programs that I downloaded that caused this bug for me. I know I did not go into the settings and change this at all. Uh, so something had in the background had to have changed this on my computer here. Uh, you can see Cinebench R20 is taking for, uh, this is taking a while for it and that's not typical for the 3900X. 3900X, I do have it undervolted to 1.32 volts, but here we go, our score was 3755. So I also have CPU-Z, this is also showing six cores and 12 threads. We have six cores and 12 threads here on Cinebench. So what is the problem and how do you fix it? So exactly what's causing the problem, as I said, I don't really know. At least I was able to find a fix here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So first in the search bar, you wanna type in msconfig, hit enter. And there's a taskbar up here with general boot services, startup and tools. You do wanna to go to boot and then go to advanced options. And somehow in this setting, they check marked this number of processors and limited it to 12 logical cores, which means there's gonna be six cores and 12 threads being utilized in here. So what you wanna do is uncheck the box and then you're fine. You hit okay, you apply, 
you hit OK again. And then for that change to take place, you do have to restart your computer. Because I'm recording right now, I'm going to restart later, but it will make that change effective. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, restart my computer and then I'll come back and we'll retest it a bench and check uh, CPU Z and all that and show you that now we're going to be having 12 cores and 24 threads available to us. All right. So we have all, you can see it's completely different. We now have all the threads and all the cores working 12 cores, 24 threads up here. We have 12 cores, 24 threads and CPU Z. It's moving much faster now, even with OBS recording all of this here. So it is running very well. And I can't be happy enough now that it's working this way. And here we are coming up on the finish line with Cinebench R20. And just under 7,000 points. Typically when you're not using OBS while you run it, it's well into over 7,000 points with Cinebench. Uh, so definitely an improvement here. Now we have our 12 cores and our 24 threads working with this here. And it shows here even on hardware info, temperatures are definitely working, are looking very nice here. Definitely glad that I was able to find a fix. Let me know down in the comments if you had any problems like this. Have you even updated to Windows? And like I said, I don't know if this is a Windows issue. Uh, definitely check and see if your Ryzen processor is uh, running all cores here, especially your 3900X. I don't know if this is an issue that could be plaguing a 3700X or 3600. I have no idea what caused this issue. I, I can't say with any certainty that it was Windows. All right, guys, as you can see, the fix here was fairly simple here. Just a quick Microsoft setting that you had to change, and it was uh, definitely a lot better performance. Uh, so let me know down in the comments if you've experienced an issue like this. I have no idea how that got changed. Uh, I know that Windows had an update just recently that my computer got updated to, and that's or right before when I started noticing this issue. So definitely, if you've upgraded to Windows, check to see if you're having this issue as well. But if you are, if you had this issue and you figured out the fix, and you think you know what happened, why it happened, let me know down in the comments. I want to know what you guys' opinion is on this issue, if, it, if you think it is a Microsoft issue or if it's something else in the background that is causing this problem. If you're, have, if you're Intel based, maybe it's happened to you, so I want to check that as well. But all I have here is my AMD Ryzen 3900X, and that's where I experienced the issues. So again, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any ideas what may have caused this problem for me, let me know down in those comments. I really want to hear from you, and I want to thank you guys for watching through this video. I really appreciate all of your time and your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.